Hey guys, we're at our Westerly job site with Jeff Sweener, and as you can see, we are trying to figure out the detail for the little swoop on the roof. It's a Dutch Colonial Gambrel roof. We got a swoop, so some proto pro tips on how to make that happen. So let's talk about these rafter tails and what they're made up of. This is two by stock that they, you know, repurpose. It was probably scraps, not you know, not suitable. They mill them in such a way that they're laminated pieces together and there's a little bit of a tongue and groove detail where that's glued together. And then lengthwise, they're finger jointed. So, so these things are 24 feet long and perfectly straight and square. They're lightweight. They perform just like wood. Between the finger joining and the lamination, really high yield in terms yeah, of material. Exactly. Yep. And then the fabrication of it is a pretty complicated profile yeah. because you know we've got to um, have the fascia soffit here. Right. It's got to hit the sidewall, but then yep. we really need this swoop. Right. So the CNC, we, we designed this detail in AutoCAD, pull it right out of the drawing, yeah. and then we create a drawing for this piece. We send it to the CNC, and it talks to the router head and just makes the exact shape. So because we're designing that, we can, we can create notches like this so that we can attach them to the building here. We have a positive stop, and that we really... Got a, we yeah. got a cleat that goes into the building. Exactly. And that's once a that's horizontal installed. line all the way around the building, these sit on it, and it's ex exactly where we want them. We need how many? We need 150 <laughs> of them. <laughs> so old school, doing it in the field. Let's assume yeah. we could have gotten 14-inch stock. Yeah, so we're, we're cutting this with a jigsaw, right? We can cut this with a skill saw just to clean it up. But you're talking two days, two of, days labor of labor right. versus two hours of labor with a CNC machine. It costs money to have the CNC guy do yeah, the work even there. It. Does it? Yeah, I mean apples yeah. to apples, Definitely outweighs saving it. money and time. Not to mention every one of them is exactly the same. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to end up with. So when this is affixed to the actual house, this is what we've got right here. Yep. This is what, oops, There's sorry. That's what, that's your positive yep. stop that you're talking right. about. Right. Walk me through these details. So this piece up top here, because we want to you know, a solid nailer all the way across. We just have a continuous bevel and we just put that bevel cut on there. It's a 50 degree angle. Yep. And then at the bottom, you know, we want to lock it all together. We like to install a fascia. So that piece has got the same angle. And then the plywood, because we've got a curve, we actually use two pieces, two layers of three eighths. Yeah. So you put the first layer on and you were able to bend it down, yep. nail in the center here. Right. Then the second layer goes on and it follows that curve. Yep. And you can see in the background that we've got that whole run there. There's got to be about 40, maybe 50 of those tails in right. place. Right. Plywood took us, what, how long? An hour. And that's what the camera's running, right. slowing us down. So it definitely saves us a ton of time. Yeah. It's a good look. You want to get a Gambrel Dutch Colonial, you got to have that swoop on the bottom. So that's what we got. Yeah. Nice job, man. All right.